A lot of modern cars come with advanced driver assistance systems. Things like adaptive cruise control that keeps a safe distance from the car in front, or automated emergency braking to avoid collisions, or lane assist to keep you in lane. Which is great, as long as the driver knows the system's limits. The worst modern car I've ever driven came with adaptive cruise control that turned itself off if you went under 20 miles an hour. So if the car in front slowed down for a traffic jam, so would you until you went under 20, at which point the car just handed control off to you with a very quiet beep. And uh, if you weren't expecting that... This is the Global Vehicle Target, and as of this year, it is part of the Euro NCAP standard on how to test the safety of automated driving systems. But it isn't just a static foam model. This base here is a robot platform that goes up to 50 miles an hour, which means you can test safely with both vehicles going at highway speed. Right, my turn in the passenger seat. I mean, of, of the real car, not this. This doesn't have a passenger seat. Thatcham Research is a not-for-profit insurance-funded research centre. In about 2014, it became clear that the next generation of technologies weren't just going to look for the rear end of the car, they were going to look at the side of the car and even the front of a car. We've got to have a target that actually looks like a three-dimensional car. The impactable bit, the visual pieces of the car, are actually foam target blocks that are assembled to look like a car and covered with a radar material. Generally, you can put the target from start back together in about 15 to 20 minutes. But what we've done is we've used test equipment that actually measures the radar reflectivity of a real vehicle. You get radar reflectivity of a wheel and even the glass at the back of a vehicle has a certain radar signature. So it's about putting radar reflectors but also radar absorbent material in the right place so the brand new tests that we're going to introduce in 2020 are what we call turn across path where your vehicle is moving in front of another vehicle and we want your vehicle to break we're also developing junction tests where a vehicle moves across your path laterally right. and therefore we need to see the side of the vehicle and we're confident that if a vehicle breaks for our target it'll break for a real vehicle in the real world this should stop in time. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's... All right, let's do it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> First of all, that works. That's yep, good. But we have stopped. Oh, that made me feel so nervous. It's, de it's deliberately late and harsh. Radars are very good understanding if something is moving, they can identify what it is. However, if you just come across an object and it's stationary, it's much harder for the radar to identify that that's a vehicle. What's the difficulty is understanding has the driver seen it and what are the driver intentions? So if you've got a vehicle that's parked in front of you, it doesn't want to warn you too early because that's going to annoy the driver. And we don't want that because if your driver is annoyed, he'll turn the system off. One of the problems vehicle manufacturers have is there are not only differences in the road infrastructure, but there's actually national characteristics. People in Germany tend to drive slightly more aggressively, and therefore the issue of false positives is much more of an issue. Whereas the Swedes will tell you that they're much more benign, and therefore a vehicle that's just stationary, warning the driver won't really annoy him too much. Okay, so what happens if we go slightly faster? Well, we'll try it. It should be. Good. <laughs> We'll do 40 miles an hour rather than 30. All right. Oh, I don't like this. I really don't like this. Oh! Oh! Does it slightly break to warn you? Does yes. It, yes. You hope is that little break is enough for the driver to go, oh, this is something strange yeah. is happening. And yeah. Do it themselves. Okay. Yeah, that works. <laughs> so is the target. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much to all the team at Thatcham Research. Pull down the description for more about them and their work. Wow! There is one tyre upright just there.